Hi all, Justin Social Paintball here today, and I have just gotten my Wrap 4 Takamo conversion kit for to make my Tipman 98 mag fed. And uh, to tell you the truth, it looks like this thing's been kicked all the way from California. It's about four months late after a pre-order, which I did in November, it was due in April, and I just got it um, a couple days ago. And so the box is... Uh, rough shape here we'll get you some close-ups here of me unboxing it let's take a look there it is all beat to hell <laughs> wow within the bubble wrap the box is still kicked in and beat to hell Nothing extra in the box. No stickers. No apology note. <laughs> Nothing nice to say. Let's just double check. Maybe a uh, sorry. This is so freaking late. Nope. Just a uh, crumpled up packing slip. So yeah, not so great on customer service so far. Let's open this up and see if the parts are damaged. Got something here. Maybe I have to eat my words. Nope. Parts diagram. So definitely we'll need that. And we've got a clip. And we've got the pistol grip. And we've got uh, the optional hopper feed, I believe, is what this is used for. So just set it up like a standard tip in 98 with the four grip. A little parts kit. I hope everything's in there. And uh, let's open up the actual shell. And hopefully nothing is dinged up here. I don't think so. I mean, this is all metal. And there we have the actual clamshell with the mag feed. So here it is. Get your pistol grip. Put your sear and all your parts in there. It's got you can see it's got spots for the RT, everything you'd need for your 98 conversion. The clamshell, the mag feed adapter with one mag. It snaps right in there. There's a pin that holds that. An optional um, four grip uh, adapter, so you can still use it with a hopper if you want to go back to using hopper. And the parts kits. So I haven't seen the D mag first strike magazines yet that are supposedly going to make this so that you can run first strikes mag fed into this new kit. That's really why I purchased this because I'm excited about maybe being able to use my 98 again for something kind of cool like first strike sniping. So that's what it is. Really not impressed with Rat 4's customer service on this at all. You'd think after four months of delay you'd get some sort of nice note saying sorry about the delay uh, sorry we sold you something back in November as a pre-order for April that we really hadn't even tested yet and by the time we got it all tested and finished and everything it's August hey and here's a free sticker or a lanyard or a uh, anything a note <laughs> just think that's pretty piss poor I know I'm disappointed because I expected this around the time of my birthday to be able to put this together and nothing but delays um, have ensued so this thing doesn't work I'm probably going to uh, make another video and they're not going to like it but looks pretty good so far it is in one piece despite how it was shipped and how it was treated uh, I don't see anything wrong with it so thank God for that here's my Tipman 98 you see it's got a car sock it's got custom grips on it uh, rear cocking bolt cover, red dot sight, carry handle, fake mag, bang trigger, and moving on down we got a tripod and a wrap for fake silencer. Okay before we get started one thing I want to point out is if you're running to get the most accurate shot, you're probably going to want to have a zero kick hammer from Tech T in your marker. You might consider it, or you might already have one that you're switching over. One thing I ran into with this hammer is 
a little bit lower velocities because this hammer is lighter and it cannot depress the stock spring in the valve um, as much as it should because it's lighter. So what you got to do is essentially just order one of these replacement springs from Tech T. They used to only be sold in the Tipman low pressure kits as part of a new valve all assembled. Um, but you can take out this back clip, the C-clip, replace it with a normal C-clip, um, put in a new uh, spring from Tech T that's lighter and you're going to get your velocity back up there again because it'll be easier for this hammer to open up the valve. So just one little tip for you. This is uh, just a custom power tube. Here we have the valve and here we have the hammer. And so, and then this is just the valve um, taken apart so you can see the internals. You've got a, a C-clip um, and then you've got the internal parts here with the spring and there's the pin there in the front. So there's also an O-ring that sits inside here. As long as it's got a little lube on it, it should be fine. You don't have to replace that, but you might once you're servicing this. It's sort of a pain in the neck with these C-clips. Um, so what I use to get the one out on mine is just this little tiny um, pliers and just pulled it out. That one's not going back in. I'm going to replace it with a easier to get at um, C-clip where you can use some standard uh, C-clip removers. So just want to give you a little tip. So as you can see, I put in the new C-clip and I have the lighter spring in there now. Okay, so now you got the valve with the lighter spring in it. Just put some thicker lube around the O-ring for the valve. Then you got to line all this up, which can be tricky. I want to pre-lube that a little bit. Just set that in there. And you got to kind of wiggle it into place. I got a little plastic screwdriver here. Just going to bump that to where I need it. That's about right. Can line it up later with the uh, hose itself. Okay. So there's our customized power tube with the valve. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta remove all of the um, clamshell screws. They're already pre-assembled in here. Just remove all those and set them aside. Okay, now you're taking all the, all the screws. Screws. There's a couple special ones. Um, there's one that has two sides to it, which is in the middle section. So just make sure um, you pay attention as you take those apart. And you take the receiver part here. And so you can see um, in this receiver, this clamshell here, you already have the pins that you normally have on the 98. They're already set in here and fixed. So that's kind of nice. So you go ahead and take half of your pistol grip assembly and press it into place. Okay, so we put our half of our pistol grip onto half of the receiver here and we're ready to install our um, parts to transfer them over. And so we'll go ahead and take the fang trigger, set that on. Trigger goes, we can drop the safety in here. Um, they have a few special parts here, but I'm gonna go ahead and put in the square nuts or the ASA. This is a little tricky to do this while you're under a camera, one man gang here, so. Those fit in there really nice and snug. And, some of you might be wondering about the double trigger. Um, it does fit right on there, the guard. So that's on there. They have a few specialty parts. They have a spacer, a little tiny um, spacer that goes in the bottom of the spring. You can see that black part there under my finger. So that's gonna go, this is gonna be a little tricky for me to do on camera here, I'll try. I'm going to go ahead and push that in place and I'm just going to use the probe here to do it. You can see it sets right down in there. Okay, so there's our trigger spring installed. And they have a couple special spacers. One of them, the one that um, is flat with two pronged ends here, that goes in the empty hole at the top there, so I'm told our instructional video. And there's another spacer, it's just a round, um, basically 
plastic wedge here. You put that back here. So now that brings me to where we're going to stop because as I was watching my installation video, there's no manual. You go and watch a video. You know, it can't be trouble to make you up a manual that shows you step by step how to do stuff. You do have a, a diagram here, um, parts diagram. So that's good that we at least have that. But no, no assembly manual. You got to go watch a video. So you got to have a computer. You got to have internet connection. You know, I'm, everyone has that, right? I watch the video and I find out that my 98 series upgrade kit is only for certain 98s. As you can see here, my sear is an old style Tipman 98 um, sear. And it requires, when you install this, to have a rear pin. There's no place to put a rear pin in here. And so I've got my spring that usually goes on the bottom of my sear here. Has nowhere to latch onto for this style of sear. So I went on in the instructional video and watched what they had, and uh, this was not no noted at all, but I did see that the sear that they have is the new style 98 sear. It probably is more common now in most of the models, um, but they did have the foresight for other things like trigger guards if you didn't have them. With the Alpha Black series, they basically make sure with the kit they send out to you a trigger guard so you have it. So needless to say, I would have appreciated getting a new sear rather than getting to um, do my video to this point and find out there's no little hole here for the old style sear and now I have to go spend some money and some time waiting for a new sear so I can finish my video and assemble this. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm stuck till I get a new sear. There wasn't one in the kit. Here are all the rest of the parts I haven't installed with the kit. There's no sear included there. And, um, you know, I'm gonna blame them on this one. It's not like I could see that video until after the product was released. Um, when I made my pre-order, I put faith that I would be able to do this. It was for a 98 custom series. That's how it's advertised. My 98 is 98 custom. Um, they know full well, different sear types. They didn't give me the new one. So I gotta go out and buy that on top of this pre-order and wait some more time after four months of waiting beyond a pre-order period um, that was due in April. I get mine in August and now I've got more waiting and more money to spend to get this to work. Um, you know, you can side on the company say it's fair, you know, they um, doing their best, they're making this work and everything. And I can see that side. Uh, but as a user here, uh, somebody trying to, to share this knowledge, do videos, um, for you all let you know what's going on. I'm really discouraged in this company. I get a parts diagram. There's no manual I've got to go watch a video online and like I said, I think that is uh, just really this poor not to include a manual um, Just lazy To go step by step through how to do this um, So people who maybe don't have the internet don't have YouTube computer who have a Tipman, Which I think could be a pretty large demographic um have an instruction manual with a product. It's basic, basic uh, customer service there, customer support. So if you didn't have that, you'd call them up and they'd tell you, you know, you need a new sear, maybe they'd be nice enough to send you one. I'll call them, see what they say, let you know in an update video when I finish this. But at this point, I'm pretty frustrated with this whole um, product and still hopeful that it's gonna work out for me eventually. But um, this is a lot of wasted time and effort so far and uh, could have been prevented with just a little uh, foresight. You can see the ball detent up here. Check that out, that's different. So given that, that's kind of new and cool. I know they got a seal around here for the power tube. That's what this little gasket is here. So there's some other things we'll go over, but I can't finish this right now. I've got my whole bench filled up with Tipman parts and a little bit frustrated, actually a lot frustrated, uh, that I gotta go out and spend some more money to get this thing to work. So that's where we're at with this. And um, I'll do a follow-up as soon as I get the new parts and we'll finish this up. Uh, but I'm gonna post the video as it is because I'm that unhappy with this company. So we'll get back to this to a part two. Um, but I'm going to be waiting on another part. Take care.
twist the tongue, make everybody tear. Breathe the moon, inhale the light year. Who's the goons that's ready to fight beers in the booth?